Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about pawn stretcher. So let's get started. In this position, um, white has four pawns and these pawn this pawn stretcher is not that great. And the reason why is because if you notice right now, um, these pawns, they're isolated. White has four isolated pawns. So this is not a good pawn stretcher um, because if you notice right now, the pawns, they can't protect each other. Um, pawns, they like to be in groups. So the bigger the pawn group, the better. For example, if we have a position like this, this would be good pawn stretcher. And um, the pawns, they're together. And also notice that you know they're controlling all of these squares. Um, and then you can also like form a pawn chain so if you have a position like this, um, this is a very nice pawn chain. Notice that this pawn is protecting this pawn, this pawn is protecting this pawn, and this pawn is protecting this pawn. This pawn is not protected by any pawn, but that's okay. But if you notice right now, um, if you have a position like this, um, this is not good because um, these these are called if the pawns um if there's two pawns and if they're stacked um then they're called double isolated pawns and double isolated pawns um are not great okay because notice that you know this pawn cannot move this pawn isn't even protecting this pawn this pawn isn't protecting this pawn so this is not too good because like for example if you were playing an end game and if you have a position like this um you know this is this is not going to be too good because you know this king um can just take these pawns right um but again if you have a position like this um if white has a pawn chain notice you know this is going to be uh, more difficult for black um because the pawns are protecting each other I hope that this is making sense. If you like watching, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already. Okay, um, let's move on to another position. So we have a position like this, and um, let's say it is black to move. So this bishop um takes the knight, and you know this is pretty common. And now you have two choices: should you take the bishop with the d pawn? Did you take it with the B pawn? Okay, so remember, remember about the pawn groups. Pawns like to be together, right? So the bigger the pawn group, the better. So in this position, we want to take it with the D pawn, and um, this would be great because again, um, um, all these four pawns they're together. But again, if we took it with the B pawn. Um, this is not going to be quite as good because notice that the A pawn is all by itself. So that's not too terrific. The added benefit of taking the pawn, the, um, the, the D pawn is it opens up blinds for this bishop. Okay, um, let's move on to um, another position. And again, um... I just want to talk about um, double pawns again. Um, so if the pawns, if they're stacked um, together, um, it could be good or it could be bad. If you have double isolated, um, yeah, double isolated pawns, that's not good. But again, if you if you have supported double pawns, then um, that's good for you. All. Okay, let's move on to um, another position. So here we go. Um, it is white to move, and you want to capture the knight. Should you capture the knight with um, the h pawn, the king, or the f pawn? And if you notice right now, um, you have two isolated pawns right now. And um, as a friendly reminder, it's not good to have isolated pawns. So in this position, I would probably take it with the f pawn. And notice that... Um, now you have um, now the pawn, um, now um, the pawns are together. This pawn is protecting um, this pawn, um, so um, that's great. And also, an added bonus is um, you do have a passed pawn. 
I hope that you found this video to be helpful and um, again, if you are a beginner, feel free to just share a game with me. I will be happy to analyze the chess game for you um, on my YouTube channel for free. But of course, donations are greatly appreciated. Um, so um, thank you so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I do invite you to play. Um, I do invite you to subscribe to my channel. I also invite you to um, play in my chess tournament. Thanks for watching. Bye.